Hey, good morning, peoples. Um, you might be looking at this on my desktop and wondering, what in the hell is he doing? Yeah, I'm always uh, up up to my earlobes in complicated things and uh, playing around with all the things uh, that are new, evolving in IT and technology. Um, and today what I'm doing is I've, I've set up a virtual machine, a virtual PC. Um, but uh, what I've already completed with this um, is installing the virtual machine and uh, what I'm using for running the virtual machine is a software called QEMU. Uh, I don't know what, what exactly it's an acronym for, but uh, QEMU uh, is also a free virtual machine software that uh, has some quite advanced capabilities. Um, and some of these advanced capabilities permit you to pass uh, through uh, real hardware devices to the virtual machine. And typically the uh, virtual machine host is a Linux, Linux computer uh, set up to permit um, access to a network so that the virtual machine has um, Here we go. So here's here's we've we've full screened the virtual machine. I'm, I'm logging into the virtual machine using uh, Windows 10 Pro feature of um, uh, remote access using um, terminal server. Not really terminal server, but RDP, the RDP client uh, from my actual real Windows machine and. Um, uh, one of the tasks that's that's necessary after installing a Windows 10 virtual machine uh, on QEMU is to install the driver software. And uh, the reasons for this is that uh, when when the virtual machine is installed, uh, there are several ways that you can go about uh, uh, emulating the uh, storage controller as well as um, the video devices. And uh, there's uh, benefits to passing through uh, real hardware and driver software is required for that. And typically, the uh, the mechanism or uh, or driver components that provide um, the capability to pass through a full device is called Vert I/O. And there's, as you can see, several Vert I/O or Vert or VIO uh, drivers in this folder as well as this one, QXL. And uh, the, um, the drivers for the graphics cards for this in, this, in this VM configuration, just to get it running, I'm using QXL, which makes it easy to initially set it up, but it doesn't provide the driver software. Microsoft doesn't recognize this configuration, but uh, you can download driver software for this uh, fairly easily and what we're going to do is install the graphics card driver include subfolders there we go so the Red Hat provides the drivers for this QXL controller blam right so PCI device browse and we're still at the uh, virtual CD-ROM there's a memory driver And this one is, I'm not sure what. Oh, the serial driver. So um, uh, my plan is, is to um, eventually uh, change this uh, virtual machine um, over to use the Vert.io subsystem in QEMU or libvirt, which provides the, uh, the host system capabilities to run virtual machines instead of using an emulated IDE or emulated SATA controller, because those those are slower for uh, for running uh, virtual machine guest operating systems, and uh, Windows doesn't recognize them. So this is it would be a step that would be necessary right update driver 
Maybe he does recognize them. Maybe not, but still. Network. And I'm, I'm just using um, two cores out of the, the eight cores on this uh, host system. And any other devices that I want to try and update. So I do have sound with this. And you can see that in, in the virtual machine uh, guest, um, if I, you know, click on that and it's really loud and annoying, that sound actually does pass through from the uh, virtual machine guest uh, through the RDP client to uh, my desktop machine. Uh, any other devices? Sound? Update? Vertio? Or USB? So, that looks to be all the ones that I can do at the moment. But uh, this, this is basically what you would have to do uh, to ensure that the driver software is up to date on your uh, um, Windows 10 or, or virtual machine guest running Windows on top of a QEMU uh, virtual machine server software. Um, and I'm, I'm going to change it over to, to use Vertio after, but I wanted to make sure that these drivers for the Vertio component, some of them at least, were available. Um, I may need this VIO store or VIO SCSI, right? But as you can see, if I go into it, it's just the driver files. There's no installers. So that's uh, something that I'll have to um, investigate or just try and start it with Vertio type, select it as the, uh, the disk controller instead of the uh, IDE or SATA, and then uh, uh, once that is addressed, uh, try and install the driver software again. So that's uh, part of a small tip. Um, and uh, naturally, you know, we uh, we want to make sure that Windows 10 is activated because um, that's annoying. Is it? Nah, I don't have it downloaded yet. Something I'll do later. Unrelated, but uh, potentially something you might want to do. So. All right, well, that's the end of this video, and uh, we will be back with another one soon. Cheers.